The prophecy of Aegon the Conqueror was a burden that Viserys had to carry all his life, and in the House of the Dragon, he revealed it to Rhaenyra. This secret, it's been passed from king to heir since Aegon's time. It was a dream, just to begin with a terrible winter, gusting out of the distant north. And whatever dwells within will destroy the world of the living. And if the world of men is to survive, a Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne. Strong enough to unite the realm against the cold and the dark. But in this same episode, they eliminated a scene in which Viserys and Daemon were talking about this prophecy, and where it is explained to us what was going through Viserys' mind while he was talking to his brother. Recently the official script of the first episode was revealed, where this deleted scene is shown, and in this video, we will be analyzing it, because it has too much important information that can be relevant in the second season. So if you want to know more about the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start with this video, if you want to participate in our new raffle where we will be giving away an official shirt of this channel, the Three-Eyed Raven, it's easy to participate. You just have to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and comment what has been the most important event for you in the universe of Game of Thrones. The winner will be announced on July 21st. This scene occurs after the death of Emma Arryn and her son Balon, the heir for a day. The script reads as follows. King Viserys stands in an empty throne room, his only company the four giant statues representing the former Targaryen kings. Viserys toys absently with the Valyrian steel dagger he wears on his belt. The hilt is made of dragon bone. Footfalls click clack on the stone, echoing through the cavernous room. Viserys is so lost in contemplation that he doesn't seem to hear their approach. Daemon, Viserys' brother, enters. Brother. Prince Daemon's arrival finally pulls the king's attention. Daemon throws his arms around his brother. The men hold the embrace for a long beat. There is real love here. But Viserys winces, his hidden wound hurting him. The king quickly withdraws from his brother, who notes this. How are you? Viserys looks a hundred years old. All the life and passion that Viserys once had now seems to have been taken from him along with Emma and Balon. He does not answer Daemon directly. Do you believe the gods have a design? No. I don't think they give a wet shit about us. As Targaryen, we're thought to be closer to gods than to men. That we were preserved from the doom for some higher purpose. Daemon searches Viserys, frustrated by his indirectness. We got lucky. There's no shame in it. It wasn't luck. It was a girl's dreams. Daenys saw what was to come and saved us from it. That made for a good story. But Daenys' dreams didn't make us kings. Aegon's dragons did, on the field of fire. There were a thousand dragons in old Valyria. So what put House Targaryen on the Iron Throne? Dragons? Or dreams? Aegon was no dreamer. He was a conqueror. With a great sword of Valyrian steel and the most fearsome dragon that ever lived. Aegon wrote his own history. The truth was something else. Daemon laughs, chiding, at the portentousness of the claim. Recovering, he inquires. And what was that? Viserys takes a long pause. He looks at Daemon considering whether to tell him some secret truth. But he says nothing in the end. The Targaryen history is written in fire and blood, Viserys. Though some of us might wish to forget that, we cannot deny our nature. Viserys sighs, let down by where this is going. He looks up at the statue of King Jaehaerys where it looms over them. King Jaehaerys moved us beyond that with five decades of peace and progress, and then the vote at the Great Council. And now I am meant, somehow, to do even better. Better? I have nothing but respect for Grandsire and all he accomplished, 
but Harin Hall was a farce. Damon indicates the Iron Throne, where it is slashed in both light and shadow. Councils don't make kings. Kings make kings. The Great Council worked out well for you, my prince. Not as well as it did for you, your grace. This Eris laughs, showing a flash of his old self. I sometimes find myself wishing I could go back to that day and pass it all to Rhinus. To be just another Targaryen prince. Damon twists at the insult. Just another prince, like me. To be able to hunt and raid and enjoy life's simpler pleasures. Give it up then. We're both in our best years, but they are being wasted at court. You think I should abdicate the throne? Leave those burdens to your council. You were the last Targaryen to ride the Black Dread. Claim Vega. We could fly to conquest, together. And who would we conquer? Anyone we wish. We can do as Aegon did. Write our own history, in fire and blood. When Viserys looks into his brother's soul, he sees unbridled ambition. The king sighs, his voice softening. He glances up at the statue of Jaehaerys, his great predecessor. The dragons are gods made flesh. If we treat them as tools for our gain, they will deliver our end. You are wrong, brother. It's said that Valyrians created the dragons. If dragons are gods, what does that make you and I? Viserys stares at Daemon with a sense of looming dread. Undoubtedly this scene reveals incredible things, and we finally understand what led Viserys to name Rhaenyra his successor. Viserys was trying to reveal the prophecy to his brother, but he made it clear to him that he did not believe in that Targaryen mysticism. This is something that breaks with the idea that Viserys had as king. It is not because Daemon was simply an irresponsible, violent, and cruel prince. It was his skepticism towards Aegon's prophecies that led Viserys to remove the prince from his position. Of course, there are other important factors, such as Daemon supposedly mocking Balin's death, but in this scene, it is clear how important the prophecy is to Viserys. But there is something that Daemon mentions which in the shows had not been mentioned yet, and that is about the origin of the dragons. It has been mentioned several times that these creatures are gods among men, but Daemon coined a theory that we have mentioned in this channel, and it is that dragons were actually created in Valyria. This is a hypothesis that proposes the dragons were wingless creatures, but thanks to the magical rituals of the Valyrians, they created not only the dragons but also the magical connection with the creatures. For Daemon, dragons are tools and always have been, they are the result of an experiment of his family. And if dragons are gods to Daemon, the Targaryens are much more. For Viserys, this is obviously a distortion of the Targaryen history, and he sees the dragons as a sign from the gods and the prophecies. This fight between skepticism and belief is what divides Daemon and Viserys. Although both brothers loved each other, it was these differences in beliefs that ended up driving them apart. We now have a clear understanding of why, when Rhaenyra told Daemon about the prophecy, Daemon became so upset. Viserys shared it with me when he named me Anne. <laughs> My brother was a slave to his omens and portents. Anything to make his feckless reign appear to have purpose. Dreams didn't make us kings. Dragons did. Damon thinks that these prophecies and absurd beliefs led his brother to be a weak person, and he will not go down the same path. Now, the fact that this scene was eliminated could have two reasons. The first is that much of what Viserys says to Daemon, he later repeats to Rhaenyra, which would be a redundant scene. But it could still be used in a flashback scene. Although this is not often used in this universe, it's not something we could rule out. Of course, if this scene was ever filmed. But it would be interesting to see Daemon in this second season, delving into the theme around the creation of the dragons and the Valyrian rituals. 
but tell me what are your thoughts on this deleted scene? Do you think it will be revealed in the future? And if you liked this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven